President Felipe Calderón of Mexico came to Mexicali today and in a press conference he said that this was the strongest earthquake ever recorded in Baja California. Based on the data, it's been the biggest quake registered in Baja California history. President Calderón took a helicopter tour of the city and also visited a badly damaged hospital. He said the general hospital may even need to be completely rebuilt. It's a hospital that quake through quake has registered serious impacts and although been enforced with corrections deemed necessary, our preliminary conclusion is that a new general hospital has to be built in Mexicali. Agencies also pitched in, telling the president and the governor of Baja California how they are helping out. But President Calderon has a positive message as well. He says even though there were fatalities, Mexicali is lucky the damage wasn't even worse. I appreciate, congratulate, and extol the Federal Electricity Commission for reestablishing power in the Valley of Mexicali. At the end of the press conference, President Calderon pledged federal aid to the city of Mexicali. Reporting from Mexicali, Rachel Alzafan, News 11. Sunday's earthquake completely destroyed about 100 homes in Ejido, Oaxaca. Andres Viejas Osuna's home is in ruins after the tumbler. He's still stunned and says the damage happened fast. Well, look, the house is completely collapsed. The water got in it and it started coming out from the dirt. You can't really live in them. There's a lot of damage. Some are about to collapse. That they give us options so we can do something. We can't lose what little we have. Even some homes that look like they made it are ruined. Cracks like this one underneath me run right under homes, sinking them or even throwing them off their foundation. You get inside of your home and it feels like it moves. The ground is very false here. I thought the earth was going to open up and swallow us whole. I thought the earth was going to end at that moment. The community is devastated. Water is coming up from the ground and flooding homes. Streets are cracked and barely even passable. The shock has yet to wear off. But while not everyone in this community has their homes, at least they all survived. Reporting from Ejido, Oaxaca, Rachel Alzafan, News 11. Politicians are making their way to the Imperial Valley and seeing the damage firsthand. Representative Bob Filner was shocked by the damage to businesses in downtown Calexico. About 5,000 people in the border town are now out of work. It's far more extensive than I had, had uh, thought about. Lexico's water, uh, water treatment is uh, down and they're going to have to bring in basically rented water treatment facilities. The hospital in El Centro has suffered more than $10 million worth of damage. Filner also met with officials from across the valley. He told them help is on the way. That's what my role is, I think, to get FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, in here. California emergency crews are already assessing the damage. Filner hopes FEMA will be next. To get FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, in here hopefully next week with a visible place where people can apply for uh, both business loans and repairs, cash for unemployment benefits, cash for, uh, for cleaning up. You can still see that the streets are filled with debris in downtown Calexico, but officials now hope that there is a silver lining to this earthquake. The city of Calexico has already been trying to revitalize downtown. Representative Filner says maybe we can find a positive in all this devastation. Why not rebuild them to new... Uh, to new uh, design standards and uh, tourist attracting uh, facades. Even this will take time, and for many in the Imperial Valley, it's a long road to recovery. It is uh, really uh, uh, devastating when you look at this area and there's no action. We need businesses open. That's the reaction of Governor Schwarzenegger after seeing downtown Calexico. He was briefed by city and county officials on what his office can do to help. This will cut through the red tape and free up additional state resources. The governor's office sent crews from California Emergency Management Agency to help the Imperial Valley. Most recently, Schwarzenegger issued an executive order. We will waive replacement fees for critical documents that may have been lost because of the earthquake. We will waive fees for the owners of uh, damaged mobile homes, uh, which require additional inspections by the state. 
We will waive the one-week waiting period for displaced workers that are looking for unemployment benefits. The Imperial Valley suffered major damage. There are over $100 million worth of damage that we've quantified so far. That's why it's so important the state pitches in. Once the state of emergency is declared, the state picks up 75% of the tab. Before that, we're liable for 100%. We don't have the money. The governor hopes federal funding will come soon as well. Once assessors know just how much the damage costs, Governor Schwarzenegger says he'll request a presidential disaster declaration. That will bring in money from the federal government. We will work together to rebuild the businesses and the homes and the office buildings and the lives of everybody. But there's also a strong will and determination from those affected the most. We will rebuild. Some of the structures is damaged, but not a hope. Everything here at Jefferson Elementary is brand new, and looking around, it's hard to believe that two years ago, this school was devastated by a 7.2 earthquake. Yeah. A bright future has finally arrived for students at Jefferson Elementary in Calexico. It's like home to me. The approximately 700 kindergarten through sixth graders are back where they belong after jumping from school to school for the past two years. Jefferson has been closed since April of 2010 when a 7.2 earthquake devastated the school. Now students, teachers and administrators are ecstatic. Collapsed awnings are back up and secure. This school is now safer than ever before. Practically a brand new school, but it's a much safer school. You look at our soffits, and they're, I mean, they're outstanding. They're just aluminum, thin aluminum, and they look real cool, and they're very, very safe. Everything in the classroom is now new and modernized. It's been a long process, costing millions of dollars. Part of our work was trying to get them to do the estimates and such in a way that we can make the case that it needs a whole new school, not just repairs. Kids still have a few months before they're back here full time. And they told us that they're going to open it and we're all like all excited because it's like so beautiful here. So. But for now, these Tigers are happy to be home. Now classes will begin here at Jefferson Elementary in August, but there will be the sixth grade promotion ceremony held here next week. Reporting from Jefferson Elementary in Calexico, Rachel Alzafan, News 11. Back to you.